In this example, I'm going to show you how to create a for loop, which is a basic counter loop, and we're also going to generate a random number and have it display. So I'm going to first start by inputting my for loop, which is very simple. You just put in a for loop. And all for loops start with an initial var uh, variable name, which will be, we'll just call it counter. I'm going to set it up with an initial value of 0 and a final value of 10. And I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to step through it one at a time. So we'll count from 0 to 10. Now in this loop, I'm going to want to do an assignment operator. And in here, I'm just going to call this random number. And I'm using camelback notation, which has all words after the first one start with a capital letter. That's pretty standard for C++ and Java, which is why I use it. Now there's a special expression in Visual Logic. And here I'm going to have random 5. And that will give me random numbers from 0 to 4 because it's 5 random numbers but it always starts counting at 0. And then because we want to see them we are going to click here and we're going to do an output and we're just going to display the random number is plus random number. Okay, now if I did this right, it'll go through and we should get random numbers from 0 to 4. Let's give it a shot. First time is 0, 3, 0, 1, 4, 0, 4, 3, 3, 1, 2, and they give us everything ex from zero, between 0 and 4. And you're going to use that as the first step in your guessing game, it is significantly more fun to play the game more than once if the number changes each time you play it. So when you're doing the guessing game, make sure that you're generating that answer with a random number.